Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back. So for today's video, we're gonna be focusing on My Little Pony again. I know this is like primarily a doll channel, but I've just been thinking a lot about My Little Pony and so I wanna keep making videos about it. And I've also been putting out some bonus videos, so I feel like I'm not really like not doing doll content also, so I feel okay making more pony videos. But yeah, we are going to be focusing on Gen 1 of My Little Pony today. So last week I did a video where I talked all about the G3 ponies that I want. I went through a handy dandy database on Strawberry wreath and I looked at all the ponies and I made a wish list of G3 ponies that I want and I have done the same thing for Gen 1. G3 and G1 are my two favorites like generations of My Little Pony. I guess technically I could have started with this video so that it was in chronological order but I like G3 more so that's why I did that video first but yeah today we are going to be doing the same thing only with the first generation of My Little Pony and we're going to be talking about all of the ones that I have on my wish list that I would like to be able to buy and like have a collection of someday. There are definitely fewer ponies on the G1 list because like I said I like Gen 3 more um, and also just like with the last video this is probably not comprehensive like I'm sure through the course of of me looking online and in person and everything at ponies I will probably find more that I want but these are the ones that I've come up with for now so hopefully this will be a fun one for you guys as always if you do enjoy the video if you could give it a like that's very helpful to me and then if you're new here and you enjoy your time definitely subscribe so you can see more like I said mostly adult channel but like we're sprinkling pony content in here so if you like pony stuff can't hurt to stick around but yeah let's go ahead and get started looking at the wish list Okay, some of the images aren't the best quality, so I do apologize for that, but we are starting off with a super strong one. This is Sugarberry, and she is just so precious to me. She does have a couple of variations. This one, I believe, is called the Twice as Fancy one, so it's where her cutie mark is, like, extending past her hindquarters. I know it wasn't technically called a cutie mark in Gen 1, but, like... I'm just going to use that term because it's so much easier. But yeah, it's like across her entire side of her body. And I just think it's so, so cute. It's the strawberries. And if you saw my G3 wishlist video, you know that there were a lot of like fruit and berry themed ponies that I really liked. Obviously, that trend has continued into a different generation here. I just think it's really adorable. And I also love the bright, almost fluorescent red color of her hair. I think it's really pretty, very striking against the white. She's just an absolute cutie. This is going to be exactly like the last one where I just keep saying, this is cute, this is precious, over and over and over. But I'm just excited. So let's move on to the next one that I'm equally as excited about. And that is Trickles, again with the adorable names. I love her. Yellow is a top tier color for me. My favorite color is orange and yellow is probably my second favorite color. So the yellow body is super great. She's cut these adorable little watering cans for her cutie mark and it looks like they are glittery, which immediately attracts me. And then the hair blend is also so beautiful. It's really interesting because it goes from a super pale pink and then into blue and then to a vibrant neon or, um, I almost said orange, neon green and neon yellow, and it really works. I think it looks absolutely amazing. Just the colors are so pretty, and then having the glittery cute cutie mark doesn't hurt either, so I would love to have her at some point. Ooh, okay. <laughs> this one's really cute. So this is a baby pony, and this is Baby Blossom. So I think she also had a few different variations. I think she had one that was more matte, but specifically I want this one, the pearlized version, because like if you're going to give me an option between two of basically the exact same thing and one of them is sparkly and one of them is not... I'm gonna pick the sparkly one every time, right? <laughs> I just love how shiny she is. She looks so beautiful. I think the pearlized coating really works well with the purple coloration, and then she already has the white hair. She's just amazing and shimmery, and I want her. <laughs> this is another very striking pony. This is Flower Bell, and she's just so interesting to me. She has, like, the purple body. It's funny because the, like, cutie mark proper, where it's actually on her hindquarters, is a little bit hard to see with the color of her body and then the color of the mark, because it's, like, these two interlocking hearts that are a very slightly different shade of like a pinkish purple but she's got these blue markings all over her body and it's so cool I love when the markings go a little extra go a little bit beyond and I just think those are so pretty the blue color is absolutely gorgeous against that purple and then her pink hair is like very soft very cute I just feel like if I was looking at a like crowd of ponies she would stand out she's so fun looking 
Then we've got Sun Blossom. This is a really fun one. Y'all can already see the glitter, so you probably already know why I like her. <laughs> she does have, again, that kind of extended cutie mark with all of these glittery stars, and then she also has tinsel in her hair. Just all the sparkles. Like, I, I can't say no to the sparkles. Plus, she's like a light peachy orange. It just seals the deal. She's beautiful. Okay, I had this one written down as her name being Rain Curl. I'm not 100% sure if that's correct, but she was part of the, like, curl ponies, so her hair, instead of being straight, is intentionally, like, quite curly out of, you know, when she was in box, out of the box. And I think it looks amazing. I also do love the markings on her with the cloud and the kind of rainbow going through, but mostly it is the hair that I think is just so, so beautiful. I feel like with the ponies, you typically see straight hair, sometimes curled into, like, a little ringlet but it's rare to see like proper curly hair and I think it looks really really good on this mold like she just looks so precious and fun and plus the hair blend the colors are so beautiful since this is a gen 1 pony she would be older so I feel like it's probably hard to find one that has the hair still in good condition like if I were to buy her I would probably have to do a lot of work to get it looking like this again but I would be willing to like she looks so beautiful when she's fully restored, you know? Next up is Wildflower. Again, an orange pony, so like, it's pretty easy for me to love. And then I also just think her cutie mark is so pretty. It's like almost dainty to me. It's like a bundle of flowers or like, I don't know if flowers is technically the word. Some of them are flowers. It looks like maybe lavender and then some greens in there tied up with this little ribbon. And it's just so cute and sweet and wholesome looking and I'm obsessed with it. Very similar here, this is Spring Song. So she does have a similar cutie mark, but it is different flowers and a totally different coloration as well as a different coloration for the body. While I am partial to the orange, I also think that this color combination looks really good. I think the fact that they made the greenery in the cutie mark almost more of a blue tone is interesting and it works really, really well with this. She's just another cutie and I feel like they look so nice together. like sitting next to each other on the shelves. It'd be so precious. Ooh, okay, this one's really, really fun. This one is Dazzle Glow. Obviously a very bright pink pony, very beautiful. She's got umbrellas for her cutie mark. And then she's almost got like cotton candy colors in her hair where it's a very light pink and light blue, which is super fun. But the best part about this pony is the fact that it looks like she has glitter embedded into the plastic of her body, which is amazing. Like it's, it's sparkly and it's kind of semi-transparent and I love everything about it. She did also come with a couple of different versions. So this one has like um, I want to say white. It looks like they're white stars for the glitter. And then I think there was another version that had like blue circular glitter. I want to say that's correct. And honestly, they're both amazing. I feel like the white stars is maybe a little bit more cohesive with her design, but like the blue glitter is so popping. Like it's so extra and intense. So I would honestly be happy to have either or both. Like I'm not going to complain if there's glitter, I'm happy. And I think she's just such a cool design. I think that's such a fun thing to do for a pony. Okay, this one is another one that is berry themed and I think her name is Strawberry Surprise. Sometimes the names are hard for me to keep track of, I'm gonna be 100% honest. But she's super precious, light pink body, bright pink hair, and then it, it kind of looks like strawberries and milk for a cutie mark. I would like to believe that this is strawberries and like cream, like whipped cream. If you dip your like fruit in whipped cream, it's really yummy. So that's what I'm choosing to believe because, like, I wouldn't want to drink, basically, cereal that is just strawberries in milk. Maybe that's a thing. Maybe I'm just uncultured. I don't know. Either way, though, it's very cute. So, like, regardless of whether I would want to consume the food on her cutie mark, I think it looks really, really nice. So, at the very least, I would like to have her on my shelf at some point. <laughs> Then we've got Sweetberry, so beautiful. I love this color of blue for her hair. It's just, it's like that fine line between kind of being a light blue but being very vibrant. It's super, super pretty. And then the light blue body. And of course we have a little basket of blueberries for her cutie mark. It's just so, so precious. And I think this might be the first one that we've come across on the list that is a Pegasus. I think I'm correct in saying that. I will say I don't think that the wing um, molding is as nice on Gen 1 as it is in G3. Like, I just prefer that one a little bit. But it is still really, really cute. And I think altogether, this is just a very well-designed and beautiful pony. Next up, we have Braided Beauty, who is kind of funny to me because, like, her name is literally Braided Beauty. And her cutie mark is 
a braid. It kind of looks like a tail braid with a little bow at the end. But her actual hair isn't braided, which is just like comical to me. Obviously, if I bought her, if I wanted to, I could braid it. Um, but it's funny. Aside from the name, though, I do think she's beautiful. This lovely like mint color for her body and the hair blend. Man, My Little Pony always has such amazing and unexpected colors for their hair blend. And it's so impressive to me. There's this vibrant like emerald green and then we've got white, yellow and a very light pink. And it just works so well together and it's so stunning. Again, it feels like a standout, like you would notice it immediately. I noticed it immediately going through the database and I would love to be able to have her on my shelf and maybe play around with braiding her hair to match her name. <laughs> Oh, this is another fun one. This is another twice as fancy pony, like the first one that we started this list off with. This is Night Glider and like incredible. They've got kind of a galaxy theming going on with planets and stars and moons and like I'm sure the smaller cutie mark version is also very cute, but if you can have more, I definitely want more. I think it's so precious. And honestly, my favorite part is the fact that she's got a little moon and two stars on her cheek. Like, it's just so adorable. Like, the cutie mark spreading across, like, the flank. Is that what you call that? <laughs> I don't actually know. But across her entire side is really nice. And then having it on the cheek, too, is just so extra sent her absolutely over the top for me and now she's on the wish list. Funnily enough, kind of sort of another like not quite galaxy themed one, but you see what I mean. This is Princess Royal Blue, which is a strange name, but I'm I'll take it. And she has a 3D cutie mark, which y'all know I'm a sucker for, that is this cute little moon shape. This one also has a few different variations. Like she has a couple of different hair colors. So one I believe is like pink and white and then there's this one that is the kind of green and teal color. I don't know which one I like better because I think that the pink and white one has a little bit more contrast, but I think I like these colors more. So again, I'd honestly be so happy with either one, like her blue body and then obviously that 3D cutie mark is what I'm really, really attracted to. So whatever I could find first is what I would want. <laughs> Another twice as fancy one. This image isn't like the best because it kind of blocks off some of that cutie mark, but it was in better quality, so I went with this one. So. Hopefully y'all get the idea. She is a Pegasus, even though you can just barely see her wing. She is bright, vibrant yellow, which we love. And she's got butterflies all over her body. It's just so cute. They're blue and pink. And she even has one kind of like on her forehead. I can't not want her. Like everything about her is designed specifically to draw me in and it has worked. And now I really, really want to own her at some point. This next one is Butterscotch. The image that I have is actually the 40th anniversary reproduction version of Butterscotch. I think she's really cute and honestly I'm totally fine with like the reproduction version. Obviously like it's probably not exactly the same. I'm sure there's some minor differences or like material differences and for some people collecting like the actual vintage ones brings them more joy which is totally cool. If that's what you like, that's what you like. I'm not here to judge you for it. For me, I honestly don't care. Like, I just like the design, so I would be happy to have her. I actually saw her in Maya recently, and I had to resist the temptation and not get her because she was not in the budget at the moment. But super, super cute. Obviously the orange, and then she's got little butterflies for her cutie mark. She's just really precious. I feel like there's nothing else I can say. She's cute, and I want her. Then we have Starshine. So this one's like a proper rainbow pony. I just realized I haven't really had any like that, which is unusual. I feel like the rainbows usually attract me, but she's got like the white Pegasus body and then the rainbow hair, rainbow tail, which is very cute. And then kind of like a little starburst cutie mark that I think also looks glittery. So y'all already know the sparkles and the colors. I'm here for it. Kind of similar. We went from not really having a proper rainbow pony to pretty much going two in a row. Only this one is a unicorn and has a planet and little dots for her cutie mark and is also more of a blue tone super precious. Like, again, all the same things that applied for the last one apply for this one, except she's a unicorn and she's got planets and I still love her. <laughs> this one is interesting. So this is Little Flitter. And as you can see, she's kind of a different pony. She's got like butterfly wings, which you think would be like a big deal to me, right? You'd think that I would want all of them. Weirdly enough with My Little Pony, I like the more pony-ish ones the most, but I do still really like this one. I had to like have at least one of the butterfly ponies on my list because there are several of them, 
I just couldn't resist having at least one on the list because I think the wings are really, really cute, really pretty. And then, of course, she is yellow with this kind of lovely light, light pink hair. She looks really cute, and I think that it is a really unique design, so at some point I would like to have her as well. This one is another one with the inlaid glitter, so you already know I'm super excited about it. Bright orange with pink hair and the little planets for her cutie mark. It's funny because in the G3 wishlist, I feel like the fruits were a big theme, and then also flowers were a big theme, and for some reason with Gen 1, it's like space theme, so planets and stars and that sort of stuff. I'm not sure why. I didn't even really think about how many I had picked out until I saw this and I was like, another one with the planets? But it's cute. Like, I just can't deny it. it really works with the G1 designs. And this one's a baby pony, so she's like a little smaller and a little even cuter than the regular ones. So 10 out of 10. Another baby pony here. We have Sun Ribbon. I just think the hair colors are so cute for this one. She's got a kind of rainbow for the cutie mark. And then the baby ponies do just have such adorable little face molds. But mostly it is the hair color that has drawn me in. I just think these are really beautiful colors. Again, it's a fun mix of almost more pastel tones, but then that really really neon yellowish green in there that just stands out so well. She's amazing. Almost at the end here, this one is the Gen 1 version of Applejack. I just feel like she looks so precious. Something about her just looks so sweet and it's like you can talk to her. Like she's a safe space and I love that. The little apples for the cutie mark is really cute. I like the contrast of the body color and the mane and tail color. I, I can't explain it. She just feels so wholesome, and so I would like to have her in my collection. And then the last one is going to be Mimic. This one is really, really cool because I think the line or like the style type was called Twinkle Eyes, and she's a Twinkle Eyes pony as well as a unicorn, which is super cool. But she has like, I can't tell if it's a rhinestone or like a sequin for her eye, but instead of having the eye painted on, it's something sparkly there, which obviously draws me in. You would think that I would like more, but a lot of the time I don't like the um, cutie marks on the Twinkle Eye Ponies, which is sad to say, but this one I think is cute. She's got a little parrot. She's got like very, very vibrant hair colors, which I mean, you can probably tell, I think is really, really cool, but mostly it is that Twinkle Eye. Like she's my favorite of the Twinkle Eye Ponies, and it's just so fun. It's such an interesting idea. It's something really, really different. And so I feel like at some point I have to have her in the collection to kind of represent those twinkle eye ponies because it's just such a fun concept. So yes, guys, that is going to be it for my Gen 1 My Little Pony wish list. Like I said, much shorter than the G3 wish list. I think I'm a little pickier with the Gen 1 ponies, which is probably good because since they're older, they do tend to be harder to find in like good condition and more expensive and all of that jazz. So it's probably better for my wallet that I'm more obsessed with the G3 than the Gen 1. But obviously there were still a lot of really, really cute ones that at some point I would love to have a little collection of. Of course, I would love to hear your thoughts on the ponies that I mentioned in the comments down below. And then if you guys have any ponies in your Gen 1 wish list, or like if you have any G1 ponies that are your absolute favorites, feel free to drop the names in the comments down below. Like, you know, as much as I want to save my wallet and have like a smaller wish list. I'm also perfectly happy to hear about more amazing ponies from you guys and have to add to my wish list. And it would just be fun to be able to talk with y'all about this because it's something that I'm so excited about and it's taking up so much brain space in the best way possible lately. So I just love being able to read through any My Little Pony related comments right now. But yeah, that is it for today. I hope y'all enjoyed. As always, I have my PO Box, Amazon wish list, Instagram, and TikTok in the description. So if y'all want to support me in another way, you can check those things out. But otherwise, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys!